Alright guys, welcome back to the video and today you can see my S5 here is sort of in a boot loop So I'm going to show you guys how to actually uh, unbreak your device if it's stuck in a boot loop like this Like you can't boot up to the OS or something like that because the OS has some issues or something So basically you're going to take out the back of the phone and remove the battery because it's obviously in a boot loop You can't do anything So, okay, you're going to put it back And now you're going to, what you're going to do is you're going to go into uh, download mode so you're gonna hold the power down button no volume down button power and home button at the same time so just hold it for about a couple of seconds and you'll feel vibration and you'll see you have a warning message so just press volume up so this will take you to the download mode which will uh, allow you to flash your stock ROM to your device so now it's gonna move on to the uh, PC to show you guys uh, the procedure Right, so I'm at my PC and now we're gonna plug into the USB uh, port here. So use a good micro USB cable, you don't want to use a faulty one while this is happening. And the flashing process is happening. So let us uh, plug in the cable here to my PC. So just plug it in and now we're gonna move on to the desktop to see uh, from there. Alright guys, uh, now I'm at my PC. And now we're going to uh, show you guys all the things you need to install and download before you start flashing the ROM to your Galaxy S5. So uh, let's go to Chrome. And so this is the website that I'm talking about uh, that you need to uh, go to. I'll put the link in the description for you guys if you want to uh, see how to uh, access this page. So this is the link. Um, Samsung-firmware.org. This is the one I use to download all the ROMs, the stock ROMs for the Galaxy S5. So what you want to do is search for the model number of your phone. So in my case, uh, mine is the SM. G900F model, make sure yours is uh, matching the one you are using now. So this is my one. And now we're going to search the region. So wherever you're living in, just put the country that you're living in. So for me, I'm in Malaysia. So Malaysia, okay. And now you're going to find a ROM that you need. So you can see a bunch of uh, ROMs here. So take the one that is on top. You can see this one. Oh, sorry. Uh, the one which has the latest build, which is uh, 17th of April, 2017. And you're going to want to download it so this one i think should have the sort of the latest uh, android security patch i think it's the april one for the galaxy s5 so let's go ahead and download click on download and you get to this page and here you will need to uh, download the rom so you can click on slow download don't click on this one because you need to pay so let's go for the slow download it should take about a while uh, it's kind of big so just leave it running and you, sh you should get a file like this a zip file like this which I've already downloaded and yeah so then once that's done you're gonna install Odin so I'm gonna put the link in the description for you guys to download the tool the Odin tool is actually here so you're just gonna uh, click on the link that I sent you and you're gonna get a zip file like this which is Odin 12.3.1 uh, so basically this is the zip file I've already extracted it it will get like this and you get a bunch of files like this so this is the tool you need to flash uh, the ROM to your S5 alright so once you've done all those things you're going to need to download the Samsung uh, USB drivers if you don't have it you can check out the link in the description I'll put it as well for you guys to download the USB drivers like this so if you didn't install it on your PC go ahead and install it alright so once all that is done you are basically uh, uh, able to proceed on so you're gonna uh, go to uh, Odin wherever you extracted Odin so open the exe file and here you get to this uh, utility uh, tool here alright so you'll see you have ID com O com 5 this is the port number actually for the USB port uh, once you see this thing uh, it says added means you're good to go you have they detected your uh, Galaxy S5 if you didn't see this however be sure to install the drivers correctly and uh, make sure you install them on your PC in order to get this to work right so let's go to options uh, we'll see a couple of checkboxes here make sure auto reboot and uh, F reset time is checked once that is done you can just go to uh, AP so this is actually where you're gonna browse for the ROM so I've downloaded it in downloads this is my ROM here open so it might take a while it might hang sometimes so just give it a while so if it hangs, don't touch anything, just wait and be patient because you don't want to disturb uh, the process here now. Alright, it has added successfully. So 
uh, now let's go and start the download so once you begin the download uh, it will start flashing don't worry it will take some time because it's kind of big it's about 2.5 gigs so let's just start it start all right now it's uh, beginning it's flashing you can see they have a green bar here once the bar reach here we are done so I'm gonna fast forward uh, from here on uh, as you, uh, I'm gonna change to the other screen you can see on the uh, hopefully you can see on the other screen on the uh, video I'll be uh, showing a screen of the S5 uh, yeah you can see I think now uh, you can see we have a blue bar you can see my finger here um, blue bar which means it's uh, beginning is flashing process so yeah this to unplug the cable and let it run basically you just have to wait for now until it's done and yeah so I'll be right back uh, once the, the S5 has rebooted itself and we can go ahead and see whether the ROM is installed successfully or not so this uh, basically so this uh, this is wait until this is completed Alright guys, so uh, you can see on the screen, we have successfully uh, flashed our stock ROM to the S5 and now uh, you can see we have a pass uh, uh, we have a pass indicator here saying that it's successfully flashed if you see this message means you have successfully uh, restored your phone back to the stock ROM which is nice if you didn't see this message means something went wrong so yeah Okay, you can see on the other screen my S5 is booting up. So let's go ahead and move on to the phone screen so you guys have a closer look on the phone itself. Alright guys, so we have the finally uh, we have finally seen the welcome page of the Galaxy S5 so we have successfully unbricked the S5. And yeah, so now it's basically back to stock firmware. So yeah, you, you will see this screen. You can continue the process of uh, setting up the device. Alright, so basically everything is all done and let me just set up uh, this device really quickly first. Alright guys, so I've just finished setting up. So this is the stock ROM of the Galaxy S5. And now let us uh, go to settings and show you guys that it's for version and so on. Uh, let me see, um, my settings, settings, alright. So about the device is down here I think and yep let's go to yep we are running on the April patch you can see and let's go to uh, let's see status and check the status of the device whether it's official or not it's official so now you're gonna get a uh, Android OT update from this guy because we have flashed we have flashed the stock room on this uh, S5 so basically that's it so hopefully you managed to unbreak your Galaxy S5 because my S5 has been uh, resurrected it's working fine now uh, so yeah hopefully this tutorial helped and I'll see you guys in the next video peace